Uh, I don't know how to feel about Dr. Dalla. Can't even discern what gender is. It's some vaguely male, female, kind of androgynous. And it's kind of weird talking to this guy because. Girl, whatever. This screen, because Dr. Dalla. It feels like Dr. Dalla is undressing me with its eyes. And I'm somewhat flattered by the interest and somewhat frightened by it. I don't know. It makes me very confused. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll indulge you. Yes, yes, go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue, like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouthful cavity. Ah, it is a she. Okay. Still feels weird, and I'm suddenly very aware of my tongue. Um, yeah, I would probably be awkward like that. You seem to be uh, looking at me a lot. Your your primitive eyes deceive you. No, no, there are no needs contained within my soft, soft gel. Uh, much, much like the soft gel of your eyes. No, uh, nothing here. Uh-huh. Um, can you tell me a bit more about um, yourself? Why, my little bear of teddiness. I am Dr. Dalla, first head chief researcher of mineralogy and medicinal sciences. I have 211 doctorates in both applied sciences and techniques to apply those sciences. I also possess a degree in curiosity and advanced curiosity. That is merely schooling, however. When possible, I prefer fieldwork and observation to holotape eidetics. It has proven useful, especially now. I have become the expert on humanology and lobotomite behavior here at Big Mountain. My research doesn't descend into formography. It is only science. Mm, I have no idea what formography is. What is it? It's excessive examination of the human form to achieve psychological arousal. Disgusting. I would never succumb to such base appetites. Distractions. Filthy, filthy distractions. That explains a lot. How did you manage to achieve 211 in Dr. Rest? That's a lot. Why, we create not only scientific marvels here at Big Mountain, but new sciences as well. Everything can be quantified, categorized, and dissected until every group can be subgrouped or partitioned. Huh. That explains a lot. So, you have a lot of titles, I notice. What is a name without a title or suffix for the sake of hierarchy? It is a long-standing quantification of personality and importance. We could not do without it. Surely you must be aware of the gravity of such attached appellations, just as surely as you must have a title. Well, I am Emperor, and I'm sometimes called a courier. Oh, a mailman. A delivery man. Someone who takes parcels from place to place using their primitive feet or similar conveyance. Yeah, I do that you a lot. You are the second one I've met in recent times. Very different specimens. Yeah, there was another courier. I got that from the other big guy back there. Uh, what do you know? Of course. You must have met others in your travels. This one had met other couriers, too. Although it sounded as if he hadn't met the correct one. He asked us all many questions. And then he asked a most perplexing one. We had to segment the event out of our memories for safety. What was the question? I do not know, nor should we try to access it. Perhaps Klein has the logs. My evaluation would be to let your own curiosity go. 
I do not think that Klein remembers the conversation as being satisfactory. Interesting. Um, can I ask you... Why... Did you take my brain? Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. But once the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack. Snip. Done. The brain is finally free of the skinvelope, which is then kept automated for cleanup duties around Big Mountain. The bottom heights. With you, however, something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite who kept speaking after being forcibly lobotomized. I am relieved the pacification field is working. If it didn't, I would broadcast some concern to my colleagues about safety protocols. Yeah, but I'm still apparently functioning. Which doesn't make much sense. Is it about the whole Tesla coil thing? That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. It really could be anywhere. Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them credit for. We still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, you could humanically reduce yourself again. I actually don't... I actually just want my brain back. The rest seems to be a boon. Just worried about my brain. So, about this pacification field. It is the pacification field emitters that are broadcasting into the emptiness of your skull. Without a brain, your aggression is suppressed in here. Can it be shut off? Why would you want such a thing? You might surrender to your hormones and commit primal aggression on me, on us, again and again. Then I would have to return the favor, activating my vivisectors and gently lobotomizing you from behind. Not something I would relish doing. No, the only way to circumvent the field is to have a brain. And we extracted that like we do all the lobotomites here. Why do I get a distinct feeling you really want to probe me? An interrogation? How fascinating. Please begin. I think I had other questions. Yeah, about, um, Mobius. Dr. Mobius. A monstrous brain creased with wrinkles of a thousand evils, with but one jaundiced eye with which to perceive the world. Exiled from the think tank for crimes too heinous to remain in recorded memory. And perhaps differences in research methodology. His one terrible eye forever peers at us. An eye of ever-increasing magnification. He watches from his dome in the Forbidden Zone, spying on us all. Uh, huh. How does the tech climb wants help? It'll all become clear. If not, at least we will have the technology here at the Dome, where all technology belongs. When we have all the technology, all the answers, we can share it with the world, piece by piece. All will be in order, and all will be like Big Mountain. I would hope not, there's too much crazy in here. Um, what can you tell me about this? This mountain, now Crater, encompasses the sum total of knowledge of humankind. It is Big Mountain, where all questions can be answered. You'll see. No matter what your questions, Big Mountain will provide the answers, as it has done for so many before you. Interesting. Previous test subjects? Oh yes. We've had other subjects visit. It's why we had to calibrate the pacification field and warm up our brainial beams and vivisectors. Only a short time ago, we had three minus one subjects arrive, and they ruined several experiments and even injured two of our staff. It is a shame their brains left with them. With you, however, we have taken precautions to ensure that problem won't repeat itself. We've conditioned you so you can't speak of this place discuss our secrets, or attempt to use force against us in any way. Isn't that nice? 
3 minus 1? Because 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 spoke to us, one after the other. One mean, one curious. But there was a third we didn't speak to. The last one is the minus 1. It got traumatized, then taken to one of our medical centers for de-traumatization. A rather unsettling procedure. A courier was here. And I remember, what was her name? can remember, but from, you know, uh, Dead Money. What was her name? I can't remember, but she spoke of coming here and it was horrible. So I guess one of them is Father Kyle, was that his name? And the other is the courier, so that's a free guest here. What happened? Ask Dr. O. And you could have asked eight once until he was severely damaged in the attack. We like him better this way. Uh, had some more questions. Perhaps you are stuck in a looping gesture of verbal intercourse. Uh, okay. Okay. You know what? I think we've spoken enough. enough. Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Indeed. And Doctor. Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives in Think Tank. Its purpose? Unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here? Unpossible. Isn't it impossible? So, you're Dr. O, correct? Oh? Oh, yes. I'm not going to bother correcting you. At least you got the doctor part correct. I can be grateful for that, at least. Stop the presses! Just in for my eye monitors. Is that Robco Tech on your arm? It is! What's your agenda bringing that in here? What, my pit boy? How dare you bring Ron Kotek in here? What are you showing off? How great Robert House and his big company are? Ooh, we can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses of Big Mountain can make, and they'll last a thousand years. Ugh. You're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. Ugh. Damn Robco. Well, you won't have to worry about Mr. House anymore. <laughs> worry about House? Why would I do this? Hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. No, he and dies with you there. Girl Kill him. Bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. Okay, um, please take a deep breath, metaphorically. I just want to talk. Fine. Ask. I heard you were uh, attacked. I don't like to talk about it. Eight, he can't talk about it. They fried his voice module. Something good. It wasn't all the visitors, though. Only one of them got out of control. He's the one that took control of Little Yangtze, our old human farm. What happened? This human. I can't believe it. He broke out of the think tank in seconds. Then he went for Yangtze, got bomb collars, and started practicing on the subjects that were still there until he got the right frequency. We were sending robots to stop him, and he was slicing and cutting through their shells with some souped-up laser gun like they were cheese paper. When he hacked into the mainframe, A tried to stop him and got fried. Me? He rerouted my processors to take control of the train network here. If you see the tunnels with the trains plowed into them, you can thank our visitor for that. He wrecked the whole place. While we were trying to keep containment on the surface, turns out he used one train to punch out a tunnel and escape. Sealed now, but... Huh. Guess that was Father Kyle. Souped up laser gun. One of that's my trusty holo rifle. Oh well, he's dead now. Who are the others? Two other human specimens. One arrived not long after the troublemaker. And the last one. Not sure when he showed up. Thought the first one was going to be lobotomized in Y17. She got out somehow. The last subject? Klein might know more. He talked to him. And let him leave the think tank. Hope he knew what he was doing. Why? Klein knows things we don't. And I think he told some of those things to the last visitor. Dangerous things that they ever got out. What do you do here? All things robotical. 
You see a robot? I made it. See a broken robot? I made it that way. Deconstructed it down to parts. I have a gift with machines. I can render anything inoperable. Preserve them in a non-functioning state. Mm, so you break machines? Who asked you? You just wait until a working machine threatens you, and you'll wish I was around. I'm good at breaking machines too. Do you have another name? Yeah, I do. It wasn't always O. I just took that one by default because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. Well, uh, just. I'm a good listener. Great. Psychology. Clearly the worst of the sciences, right after colostodiuretics. What? Okay. So my name is an O. Never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. I always kept seeing the letter, not the number. So you're Dr. Zero. Your name is Dr. Zero. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am Zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. Alright, so the name? Do you want me to call you Zero or...? Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, alright? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh. Vivisect me, please. Uh, couldn't you just put a slash through it? Well, then you'll be Dr. O. Yeah, there's a Danish letter which is a O with a with a slash through it. It's the letter U. You know when you say U. Uh. 